Hi everyone, in this short video I'll show you how you can quickly create a rain effect that detects collisions using Niagara Particle System in Unreal Engine 5. If you're using the Dynamic Volumetric Sky Asset Pack that is free for September in the Unreal Marketplace, you will see how to fix the problem of indoor raining that some other people have been struggling with. If you want to know how the Asset Pack works, you can check my previous video, I've added a link in the description. We are in the third person template. I've already imported the dynamic volumetric sky and I'm gonna set the weather to rain. The particle effect starts, but as we can see using this little building I've assembled in the level, the rain pours straight through the ceiling. And this of course is not good. Opening the sky blueprint, we can see that in the components list there is a rain Niagara system that is, you guess it, responsible for the spawning of the rain particles. We are going to replace this with a new one. To do so we go in the content browser, right click and select Niagara system, then new system from the selected emitters and here we add the fountain emitter by clicking the plus sign and then finish. I'm going to rename the system to NS Fixed Rain. Next, double click on it to open the Niagara editor. In the initialized particle, we set the sprite size mode to non uniform and we stretch the particles to make them look like falling rain. The shape of the particle is correct, but their velocity is not. So we change the add velocity node to linear and we set a negative z velocity so that the particles fall down. Next, we change the shape location to box and we set the size of the box to be quite big. This lets the particles scatter over a large area. We also need to go on the sprite renderer and set the alignment to velocity aligned so that the particles are correctly aligned with their falling behavior. Right now, the particles are too wide, so we add a module in the particle spawn section by clicking the green plus sign and searching for color. I'd set them to 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and 0.45, but feel free to experiment. Last thing to do is taking care of collisions. So we add the collision module in the particle update section and the kill particles module as well. Now we set the kill condition by clicking the little arrow on the right and searching for the input has collided. In this way, every raindrop will disappear when colliding with something, like it should. Back in the dynamic sky blueprint, we just need to replace the system with the one we just created. Compile and save. If you are not using the asset pack, just drag and drop the Niagara system from the content browser to the viewport. You will see that the rain falls outside, but not inside the building. That's because the collisions are being detected. To increase the rain, just set the spawn rate of the emitter to a higher value. Here is a bonus part if you're using the dynamic volumetric sky asset. I'm going to show you how you can set the rain velocity from the sky blueprint instance itself. Go in the sky blueprint and in the event graph open the calculate weather per start function. As you can see here, all the variables for the different weather types are set. And we are going to link and expose the particle system velocity variable. To do so, first we need to go back in the particle system. In this system I've already created the variable, but you can do it by clicking the plus icon in the user exposed section and selecting vector. Then in the add velocity module, click the little arrow on the right and search for your variable. Mine is called rain velocity. Now we go back in the calculate weather pre-star function of the sky blueprint and we add the node set Niagara variable vector. In the variable name, we write user dot and then followed by the variable name, in my case, rain velocity. Then we give a minus 500 on the z velocity. We promote the value to variable. And we attach the exact pin. I've also renamed the variable to rain velocity and finally set it to public. And we're done. Compile and save. 
And now back in the editor, you can see that you can edit the rain velocity and direction straight from the details tab. If you want to increase the area affected by the rain, you can just change the box dimensions in the shape location of the particle settings. Compile and save. If you want to move the rain area across your level, you can just select the rain Niagara system in the sky blueprint and move it around in the viewport. That's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful somehow. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to support my work. If you want to leave a suggestion about which topic to cover next, write that in the comments below. See you on the next one. Cheers!